the back. He's absolutely flying. Rafa Micah in prime position. Joel Made has uh, got a little bit of work to do. Brandon McNulty, better place than he at the moment. Eddie Dunbar is pulling faces, but is still there, there, thereabouts. Scaroni's nicely placed, as indeed is Battistella for the Astana squad. The uh, Movistar st squad starting to move their men up as well. And now it's uh, Pavel Sivakov on the front, in actual fact, for the Ineos Grenadiers squad. Mir Kwiatkowski second in line. Sivakov really feeling the pinch. 500 metres to go. Rafa Micah waiting to launch. Nobody wants to commit too early. Matty Mohoric has put himself into perfect position. Ilan van Wilder starting to move up. Joao Almeida starting to uh, make a little bit of progress. This is thinning out just as he would hope. Sivakov owns it. Nobody wants to commit just yet. And here is the uh, move around the outside from Battistella. Pool and only in good shape as well for the DSM squad. Here comes Rafa Mica, 300 metres to go. And the UAT Emirates squad have their local man in a good shape. Brandon McNulty still there, but Joel Almeida nowhere to be seen. Well, here he comes, Joel Almeida trying to move up around the outside, but here's into the narrow section. Within 200 metres, Rafa Micah has control in front of Sivakov, and I think he's going to be able to uh, overhaul at this point. Will Mary Mohoric be able to make his way up and around? It's Rafa Micah that has control in the run to the line. The road widens, and Mary Mohoric looks to move around the outside, but will he be able to hang on? Will Rafa Micah make it in time? And I think he did. It's victory for Poland, victory for the UA team Emirates. It's glory for Rafa Micah on stage three as he just about manages to overhaul and hold off his fellow countryman, Mia Kwiatkowski. And that was incredibly close. Had a wonderfully judged performance from Rafa Micah. Went for a long one yesterday, didn't quite deliver. Today, though, at the second time of asking, he took his opportunity and he took it to absolute perfection. And first time, well, among the very first up to congratulate him is his, uh, is his teammate. And uh, Rafa Maika has taken not his first success in the Tour of Poland, but amongst the most delicious. A delightful and wonderful delivery from Rafa Maika, who has moved himself back up into overall contention with that one. What's that done to the overall? Matty Mohoric managing to get up into the mix and score some bonus seconds as well. Kwiatkowski uh, there or thereabouts in the run to the line. But it was Rafa Maika who went for the long one, got control before it leveled off had the legs to fend them off in the run to the line. Fabulous performance from UAT Emirates all round from Rafa Maike taking victory on stage today. Well, Garen Thomas dropped them off into the uh, climb. Caruso owned it. Mohoric, I think, got up for second on the day. In actual fact, might have taken a very useful six bonus seconds. And it was uh, Sivakov that moved up and around to take command on behalf of Mia Kwiatkowski at this point. Rafa Maika got the nod that he had the space and time to go for his own interests. Paulo Almeida showing as having finished ninth on the day, so good recovery effort from Almeida. No bonus second scored, though. Orange. He stretched his advantage ever so slightly. And you can tell just how arduous this was. Sivakov was pulling all sorts of faces. He'd uh, turn himself inside out to get himself into position. Kwiatkowski's just waiting for it, feeling the heat on the back of his neck, knowing the attack is coming. And Rafa Maika just easing up around the outside. Beautifully judged. Kwiatkowski didn't want to launch just yet. Picks up position on the, uh, on the wheel of his fellow countrymen. And Mane Mohoric made a big, big effort. And the riders uh, coming off the Tour de France. One, two, three. Amazing, isn't it? How they were able to put that fatigue behind them and use the form. The two Tour de France stage winners from 2023 among the top three in this stage. Rafa Maika supporting two podium finishes in that particular event. And what about this? This was when the big investment was made. And Rafa Maika just refused to wilt. And had uh, Mia Kwiatkowski got the legs, he would have come up, up and around him. But uh, he was all the room in the world to do it. He leans over a little bit. And Kwiatkowski maybe a little bit frustrated. But uh, it's Rafa Maika that's celebrating. He had the legs. He would have gone up and around a little bit earlier than that. But, uh, 
Uh, a bit of movement there, but this is the bit that was so narrow, and you felt that if you had it there, you owned it, but of course it opens up. Uh, nothing they could do.